First, you'll need to connect your Cronus Max Plus to your PC through its PC program port located on the side of the unit. You will then need to open the Cronus Pro software suite, go into the Tools menu, select Options, and go into the Device tab. Here you will need to change your output protocol to either Automatic or PS4. You will then need to go into the CMAX Plus tab, enable PS4 partial crossover support, and close the window. Next, you will need to download Kitty Dawn's PS4 crossover script by either typing PS4 Timeout into the GPC library search bar or by clicking the link in the description below. After downloading and saving your script, you'll need to install the GPC onto your Cronus Max Plus using the Programmer tab. Once in the Programmer tab, you will just need to drag and drop the crossover script into an empty slot and program your device. You can then unplug your Cronus Max Plus from your PC and plug it into your PlayStation 4 console. Since there is no authorization process when using the crossover support, you will just need to plug the controller of your choice into your Cronus Max Plus and pair accordingly. For this video, I will be using a wireless PlayStation 3 controller to demonstrate how quick and easy the timer reset process is performed. After loading the corresponding slot onto your Cronus Max Plus, you will then need to hold the Select button while tapping the Cross button to reset the timer. This takes less than a second and is hardly noticeable while playing. When you are reaching the 10 minute mark for your timer to reset, your controller will start to vibrate to notify you of an automatic reconnection, although you could reset the timer as often as you like, finding the perfect time to do so.